In this video, the first in a series of videos, which are going to be how-to videos for those that are new to motorhoming, we're going to tackle the Fetford toilet. Now, of course, if you're already using your camper van and motorhome and you've used the Fetford toilet many times, you do not need to watch this video. But if you are new or about to start in life with your motorhome, you will want to see how to use the Fetford toilet and how to empty the cassette that sits underneath it. So, of course, this particular video is filmed in a Roller Team T-Line 590 and it's a 2020 model. Your Fetford toilet may differ but emptying the cassette should be pretty much the same. The toilet has what is called a blade. So that is simply, when you move this lever, it shuts the valve or shuts the trap door in the toilet. Now, of course, when you're using the toilet, we would have that open. Some people choose to keep it closed once they've used the toilet and some leave it open. We leave it open, but of course, the important thing to note there is if you leave it open, you need to make sure you close the valve before you drive off. Now you can drive with the Fetford cassette up to three quarters full, but of course, ideally you want it to be as empty as possible before you drive off. There is also, I would say a handy little indicator at the side of the toilet, which of course is currently green. Now we don't tend to rely on that because it actually goes red only at the point when all of a sudden it decides it is full. So it's better just to keep a visual check on the cassette, which of course you can see when the valve is open. Let's go and empty the dreaded cassette. Now, before we do so, we have to close the valve. You cannot remove the cassette without closing the valve. So we'll close the valve. So with the valve closed, of course, we open the door and there is a blue lever at the bottom of the cassette. You lift that up and you are able to slide the cassette out. Now, of course, a full cassette is gonna be quite heavy. But it does have a handle and is on wheels. The only problem is many campsites, of course, have uh, a loose stone on the ground and these are not very good to wheel across loose stone they're good for tarmac and good for grass the first important thing to remember when you unscrew this cap is keep it well away from the Elson point so I'm going to place it on the floor that way it can't fall in pick it up there is a button at the bottom here that releases the air pressure. Press the button in and empty. We've obviously emptied this already, of course. We're gonna save you having to see that. And then put some water back in. cap back on, give it a good old shake, upside down and around. And we tend to repeat the process about three times. If we've done that, say, three times, we need to put enough water in to cover the base of the cassette. I tend to just do about five or six seconds. And then we can put the cap back on. Now the last thing you're supposed to do every time, but I don't do it every time. Is wash out the float. That's the float. That's obviously what's doing the indicator. So we'll do a quick job of washing that through now. I shall make sure I don't lose it.
pop it back in. But we're not done yet. So last thing of course is we need to put some chemical in to the cassette. Now of course there's different choices of chemical. We're using Aquachem Blue today. And there's a handy storage area in the T-Line 590 next to where the, the cassette sits. So you need to read the bottle to understand how much you put in. So remember the cassette has got some water in it already. It is not dry. I just tend to put half in. Pour it in. Screw it down. Pop that straight. Lift by the handle. Carefully slide it in until it clicks and the cassette is done. It really is that simple. Now there are people that do not, shall we say, use the toilet fully. Um, we do use the toilet fully, but what we do not do is we don't use toilet paper in the toilet cassette because it can cause them to block. There is a Fetford uh, tissue paper that you can purchase. We don't do that. So we just keep the toilet tissue separate in a bag and it's thrown away. Anyway, that's it for our first how-to video. We hope as newbies, you will have found that video informative. If you did, please look out for many more how-to videos to come and look for a link at the end of this video to subscribe. See you soon.